Hello there. It's Ryan from RNA Music, your favorite mom and pop guitar shop deep in the heart of Texas. That's where I'm at right now. And it is time for part two of the RNA Music Vlogging Lollies CMG Devil Cat Georgia Adventure Trip. That's right. We took a vlog of our business trip to Statesboro, Georgia, where we hung out with Chris and Ashley and Lane and all the other guys and gals from Devil Cat Amplifiers and CMG Guitars and Plaid Dot Music. And a lot of today's video really is going to be a tour of Chris Mitchell and Ashley Mitchell, Chris Mitchell Guitars. He has a store in Statesboro, Georgia. And while we were there, we took a little tour of his store, Plaid Dot Music. And so you're going to see that right now. And then after the tour, I think that's when we took a, um, we took a trip to Savannah. And we did a little trolley touristy tour through downtown Savannah, Georgia, which was uh, super cool, really. It's very educational, very hot. <laughs> it was hot. We were sweating. And uh, we enjoyed that very much. And thank you, Chris and Ashley. Uh, you guys were so uh, generous and um, just, it, it, was, it, was, it was amazing, right? The hospitality that they showed us while we were there was what you would expect from some fine Southern people. You know, Southerners are known for hospitality and they certainly lived up to it. So thank you guys so much. We're gonna show you that video right now. It'll probably be another, at least a part three to this series because we got a lot of footage while we were in Georgia. Please check it out, please enjoy. I think you'll find it very interesting uh, to see what it's like, you know, um, for a business owner who owns a, a guitar company amp company and they own a music store and they teach lessons and they do band instrument rentals and they just you know juggling lots of things without further ado please check out the rest of our cmg devil cat rna music georgia adventure we'll see you at the end All right, so uh, for those of you guys who are wondering, uh, this is Missy. This is Melissa, my sister. Now, my dad called her Missy. That was her nickname. She hated it growing up. Yeah, so I called I her. I changed it back to Melissa. That's right. And I think I called her, I called her Missy until, like, uh, until you pummel me <laughs> out of it. So, so she also is a tennis player. The reason why we named the Aunt Missy is because it's very strong, very powerful, and a very small package. Now, she's what? Five foot, what? One? We'll go with it. Okay. Yes, we'll so it's five foot half. one. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm, right. I've got more power than her. I have only beaten her in tennis three times in my life. The first time, she had the flu. The second time, she was eight and a half months pregnant. The third time, I was actually at just the top of my game, and for whatever reason, you weren't that day. I was like, I was like, ah! And like hitting a ball, her is like a brick wall. So our most powerful amp, which is the 60 water, little tank, I want to name after her. So that's what it was. That's what that's about. All the gain. All the gain. All the gain, some of the pain. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's where it's coming back. That brick wall coming back to me every time that ball comes back. And you know, she's making me run left and right across it. I'm just trying to hit it down <laughs> the line. And, <laughs> and then she hits another mom. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's how it is. That's cool. So that's she probably just had the mercy miss. on you that third time. You what? She probably just had mercy on you so. that third time. I think so. I think that like, was You know like, what? I'm gonna give him one. Yeah, That's I think right. you were you were bringing it with Leah when that when that first was one. It pretty yeah, that was the, yeah, the third first child. child. Okay. No, first child. Okay. If, if you if you had twins, I think I could have taken you again. So you know. <laughs> awesome. Right. So you got three on me. That's good. That's right. We must play again. Uh, oh, you know, you're on your game. I am nowhere near my game. The last time I played was actually like six years ago. So I'm, I'm, oh, you would wear me out. I'd be throwing up. That's what I. Do. Yeah. Mm. The danger range. All right, guys, it's Chris Mitchell here, and you're about to do a quick tour of Plaid Dot Music, the place where I work and live every single day. So, uh, here is the shop right there, right there, and we're about to go in, and you'll see what it looks like. Come on, man. We're going across the We don't need to die in this video run. I'm not planning on it. Georgia. We are closed after hours, but y'all come on in. I got a key to the place. Ooh, look at the rug. It's you know a guy. Place. There's the welcome mat. Yeah, if you guys have ever wondered why we have the uh, that what that uh, insignia is and the logo and the headstock, 
It's our plaid dot logo uh, in 2D form. We have it in 3D as well. The 3D ones you see are stuff like this. You know, we put it on the back of that, like there. We put it on the back of our albums, all that kind of stuff. So it's my new album, Pieces of Small Town. It's awesome. Uh, but when we do it 2D, we do it like that, like uh, you see it on the headstocks of the guitars. So that way it's a balanced version. It's actually uh, this side of the logo mirrored and reversed again. So that's actually a little secret there. Ah. Uh, I tell you what, I'll lock the door so that we don't get any customers coming in, any after hours. Shenaniganizers. Shenanigans, that's right. But um, it could be a sale. So one of the most important things of our music store actually is this right here. This is my, my precious, my precious. I've got lots of Diet Coke for me in there. Oh. God. And you know what? I, I will give you credit, Ryan. We we do wish we had the Diet Dr. Pepper in there. But you need it. A lot of people don't realize uh, Pepsi distributes Dr. Pe Pepper in certain areas. Coke distributes Dr. Pepper in certain areas. And in certain areas, Dr. Pepper st distributes themselves. So if you're in Texas, Dr. Pepper takes care of it. If you're in the Southeast, Pepsi does it. You like how I just straight up asked the Coke guy when he was here, I, what's I, up with the Dr. Pepper's he homes? And he, he was like, Coke, I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Dr. Pepper's its own entity. They don't realize that yes. it's its own entity. So what you see here is uh, your, this is our retail shop. So what guitars do you have? Well, the guitar brands that we carry are Breedlove, we carry Washburn, we carry Ibanez, we carry um, Court, we carry uh, Tajima, we carry a, a good assortment, a good assortment of things. Um, yeah. And you know, we, we try to find guitars that are really good for people uh, in whatever performance level they're on. So you know, we're, you're not going to see uh, Crazy expensive guitars here, but we will have some American-made breed loves that are sixteen hundred, you know, eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred dollars. We're doing a breed love clinic in June next month, June seventeenth, right here at Statesboro, Georgia, on the stage. Uh, we're, we're getting ready to ship some stuff out today, so we're getting ready to do a, a series of concerts in here on stage in store events, and we're gonna have a lot of breed loves in store. Some of the eight thousand, nine thousand dollar guitars. Swanky. Yeah, swanky. And the, the the artist that we have coming in is a phenomenal guitar player. So just the kind of guy that smacks me around, you know, it makes me like it. And he's just really, really good. So we're excited about that um, on June 17th. Again, we try to do as much promotion of music education that we humanly can. And this is gonna be one of those events. That's cool. Nice. We got some drums. Yeah, uh, Tama, we have Tama Solar and Crush is what we do with the starter. You can see that that's what we put it together earlier today. They forgot to straighten up the head before they left, but we'll fix that tomorrow. Uh, it happens, you know, and we do, of course, our amp selection is pretty sweet. Um, we, we have the largest selection of Devil Cat, obviously, for obvious Oh, reasons. you have Devil Cat amplifiers. Look at that! We, got, we pretty much have every model that we make. Um, I'll show you a little secret. So, the Mean Gene, Mean Gene, Mr. Terry, which I think you probably got videos of those, them earlier today. Did you get yep. that video? Uh, no. Oh, you didn't get the video of Mean Gene and Mr. Terry. It's my battery. We'll have to dead. do that tomorrow. We'll have to do that tomorrow. We'll eat lunch with them tomorrow. Okay. We have the Francine, the Missy, who you guys just met. She's a tough tank. The Gussie 317, who you won't be able to meet Aunt Gussie. Unfortunately, she passed away a time ago. Sweet lady. Um, the Jenny, which was my dad. Uh, so, of course, then again, we carry other amps too. Like, for example, if you're a, a starting uh, guitar player and you're a budding musician, you know, you may want to start something a lot smaller. And we understand that. We get that. We want to graduate you to a devil cat eventually, but we get that. You know? Right. You got to start where you start. You got to start where you start. That's right. Uh, this bad boy is a prototype. This is mm -hmm. a prototype. Uh, it's uh, no name on it just yet. We actually blocked out the name that was on it because we don't want people to think that it's something that it's not. So, it's actually a prototype. Uh, we're using our pre-existing uh, chassis, the physical chassis of the Mean Gene or the Mr. Terry or whatever to make it. But the reality is, is that's a totally different amp and it sounds amazing and it's got a different speaker configuration. It's got a different, different whole feel to it. And here's the beauty, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear it here first on RNA Music. Exclusive. Here's exclusive. This amp only weighs 45 pounds. It's the lightest amp we've ever built. Only 45. Only 45 pounds. As compared to? As compared to 65 for the Jimmy or the Jimmy Jr. So I get, I, I'll put it through this way. This amp weighs 60. Uh, the Jimmy, that bad boy is 65 pounds. That's a hoss. And Ron was saying as we- It's as, Texas size. That's right, it is. And as I was showing you guys earlier today, uh, that what you saw the transformers, you saw the amps, you know, that, that uh, our, our chassis alone, you know, 18 gauge steel is heavy. 
you know, uh, those transformers are 20 pounds, you know, so, yeah. so for us to get that down using the exact same plywood, using the exact same transformers, the exact same chassis, the exact same shielding, the secret is the speaker. We found a really good speaker with a neodymium uh, coil, I'm uh, with a neodymium uh, magnet, and it sounds amazing. It sounds great. It was a Jensen, actually. There's a Jensen in it. A Jensen. A Jensen made in Italy. So. Italy. An Italian Jensen. An Italian Jensen. I will approve of that. That's right. Well, I it think. is. And we, we start, and actually in our mean jeans, we have the Jensen. We have the Jensen Falcon in our mean jeans. So it, we've, been, we've been using it for Jensen's for years, and now we've, we've, we've moved to a, 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 a lighter neodymium magnet. Because, hey, I ain't getting any younger. You got a nice selection of Ibanya guitars. <laughs> we, we get guys calling us all the time. They, and sometimes they say that sometimes they see the cursive font and they say, I've got a Hene. A Hene? Because it's an I and a B right beside each other. It looks like an H. It's yeah. in the cursive font. And they go, oh, we're bringing it in. I know it's an Ibanez, and that's what it is. Um, Ibanez, if you don't know, they bought that. The, um, the Gaki Corporation, the Hoshino Gaki Corp, bought that name Ibanez uh, from a Spanish company. Yeah. So they've actually. Ibanez. Ibanez, that's right. So it's actually, it truly is a Spanish guitar company in its roots. And then Hoshino Gaki uh, Corp actually bought that name from them and then that became their prim uh, primary name. For those of you who don't know a little bit about um, Ibanez and Hoshino, Hoshino is the last name of the family. Uh, the reason why every one of their uh, drums has star in the name is because Hoshino translates to, which is Tama, Tama drums, mm -hmm. uh, Hoshino translate to Starfield in, in Japanese. And so you have Star Classic, Star uh, Imperial Star, you have all that. Right. That's why all of the Tama drums. And Tama Hoshino is the president's wife. That's where the name comes from, Tama. Her name is Tama. Her name is Tama. Hoshino. Her Tama Hoshino. That's awesome. That's right. So a lot of you guys that, you know, when you're in the industry, you get to know these people after a while, you get to meet them after a while, and you, you understand, you peel back the layers. You just met Missy, you, you know, Francine is Lane's wife. You're going to meet Mean Jean and Mr. Terry tomorrow. That's the way it is. Yeah. So this is the showroom. We've got, uh, there are some bases. I have to like, okay, because Paul will yell at me. The bitter bass man will continue continue his bitter streak if we don't talk about the Abanias. Abanias. Abanias bases, yeah. which he has. And we do GK amps as well. That's a Tajima bass. Yep, we do. We just got that one. That's nice. We also do uh, GK amps. And you know, we're, we just remodeled the showroom, so we're restocking slowly but surely. We had to take everything out uh, because we redid our floor. We did this really pretty porcelain tile on the floor. Yeah, it's super sexy. And so we had to take everything out and put it back in. And so there was no reason for me to buy, you know, 10 base amps just to have to store them somewhere. So in the back storage right there, we have uh, we have some stuff still stored that we're about to put shelves up and then relocate it. So yeah, it's cool. got warehousing back there. We won't go into the warehouse necessarily. No, no big deal. Offices back there. Ashley's office, my print office back there. Actually, I will show you this. Ukuleles. Let's do it. Yeah, ukulele. I watch this. I will turn on the lights and show you this. Um, it's interesting. Shall we do? Um, a lot of people also ask, well, how do we don't understand? You got Double Cat and CMG so cheap. I do. I do all the programs. I do all of the actual flyers and programs. So all of the books, all the catalogs. I print them right there. And that machine prints them, collates them, folds them, and then all I got to do is cut them. So I do all of that in house. Oh. Everything is done in house, and that's where I print them. So it goes from literally, um, let's see if I've got a few of them down here. I'm sure there's stuff around here. Again, we just relocated, so I still got a whole lot of mess around here. But we literally go One from, thing I've noticed about you hmm? is you like to do stuff. I like to do stuff, yeah. Like, like 3D drawing and doing I, graphics. I, all our graphic design, all our 3D website, design. That's right. T-shirt, I, I literally printed this T-shirt at my house. I've got a uh, screen press at the house. I, I bought a screen press so that I can make our shirts. So it's, I like to do stuff. I'm, I keep the mind rolling, keep it rolling. Tunes it, or face morale. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, for the record, you saw that faded parking sign. We have another one when <laughs> we're ready oh, to replace nice. it. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, you just, uh, just one other thing to do. One other thing to do. That's right. And there's our workbenches that we do for customers. Uh, we're actually going to get ready to give away these amps. We're giving another customer giveaway. We're going to give away a PV half stack and then we're going to give away another, uh, another, uh, we kind of like to do that as promotional items. So we're going to do fun stuff like that. And we do, it's really cool. We, do, we, we pull up the workbench here. This is where we do our, our day to day changes and day to day setups, not at CMG, but here at Plaid Dot. And, uh, we've got a computer there. We can look up schematics anytime we want so we can pull up the schematics. 
take a look at it and, and get a rolling. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna actually eventually do a commercial in the flat dot bathroom and literally the commercial is gonna focus on the bathroom. You may have been into a lot of music stores before, but our bathroom is like one of the nicest bathrooms in any music store ever. I thought about doing a song in the flat dot bathroom. <laughs> it's a little divisive though, because it's gender neutral. It is gender neutral. You can go in here, male, female, I don't care. Oh, man. Handicap accessible, does not matter. You can go in here anywhere you want. We don't care. Also, this is interesting. Like but not right at the same time. Not at the same. Well, hey, man, if you're married, me and Ashley, I'll tell you. All right. So, employees must wash hands before returning to work. You should too. It's gross if you don't. And I've got a lot of these little hidden things right there. It says copyright 1964 plat music. We're, we weren't around in 1964. My brother, Mark, the Mark guitar, he was born in 64. I hide Easter eggs all through everything Easter I do. Eggs. Easter eggs everywhere. This I'm, one that Aiden appreciated. Yeah. Because he loves Fallout. Oh, yeah. So you've got, you've got the uh, Bethesda Fallout guy. I got a little bit of Easter eggs there, too. Here so. and there. Yeah, there's a, uh, you know, it is, it's, I don't know if it's still rolling, but uh, I like to do that. I like, I like to hide little parts of me, you know, all throughout everything we do. So it's fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, we are, we are painting now. This one might be the final color. We're going to do some other trim. Uh, all of this color right here will be uh, more like this. Uh, we just started uh, remodeling and doing the floors. So uh, the stairway, we just added the ship lap. I'll be honest with you, I was inspired by Ryan and RNA music, that beautiful wood wall that they have. So we did that and we're about to stain it as well. It's gonna be really pretty. And then you're gonna see really cool plaid dot CNC things and laser uh, etchings all over the wall. So we're gonna do our own little touch of what we build with the guitars and amps on our walls. It's gonna be pretty cool. And here's going upstairs. This is our lesson room. Yeah. Okay, so those paint, those walls aren't wet. Not that wall. Yeah. <laughs> so am. in here, uh, you are seeing our plaid dot lesson rooms. They're really spacious. Our average lesson room is about this big. It's a nice big room. It's great. We have a lot of wonderful instructors here that do a great job of teaching. We teach almost 200 students a week. Uh, we have a full-blown recording studio down. It's a it's an unlimited track, 16 tracks simultaneous. I'll take you in there too. I think it's probably a little messy right now because you're getting ready for camp. But, uh, and then of course down here at the end of the hall, this is my office, which we're getting ready to, again, I'm getting used to this new color. I picked the color, now I'm getting used to the color. They were literally painting this today. When we they were, they were painting that today. So. Good guys, man, really good guys. This is my office. Um, they've been moving stuff around, moving a little bit of my collection as they were getting the baseboard trim. And I'm, I'm kind of gonna have to get used to this too. It's kind of cool, but. But anyway, this is my office. This is where I spend all my day. All my day. When you're not texting. There's my backpack. That's right. That's Rod's back. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I don't leave my mess around. We're very clean. I'm very, very anal about being clean at Flat Dot. Uh, any of my employees will tell you so. So it's, uh, so we'll take a look at the studio. I, I saw them cleaning up downstairs quite ferociously. They were. Doing a good job. We have a nice little kitchen. It's a little messy right now because we're, again, we're painting. So, Your niece was sweeping. Yeah, she was. And doing a good job. Oh, there's a brick. We have one there, so I left the wall. Yeah, somebody left that the wall. I could have used that earlier. Yes, you could have used that earlier. Again, so this is our recording studio. It is uh, roughly, let me run. It's, uh, it's a nice big room. You can actually see that, uh, with the, that's my studio, that's my photo booth where I shoot a lot of the Devil Cat and CMG photos. However, I'm not gonna be shooting that in there anymore. I'm gonna move that to the house, and we're gonna put that as a secondary drum room so that we can take up more drum lessons. Um, all of this is acoustic carpeting on the wall. It's actually studio carpeting on the wall. It was here when I bought the building. Ask me how it was here. How was the carpet on the walls here already? Well, it's funny you should ask that because this room was a bank's collating room. They collated the checks. So you had like eight machines in here going, separating the checks. And in the 80s, boys and girls, we used these things called checks. You would write a dollar amount, you give it in, they would give you the product for it. That's what would happen. And uh, interestingly enough, they, they uh, separate all the checks, they collate them, you know, they counted the money, they separate, they got ready to process it. It was their data processing center. So what we had to do was, uh, when I bought it, I saw this immediate, this carpet on the wall went, 
Oh my God, I couldn't afford this. So I got like, I got sweet studio carpet on the wall. It came with the build. Oh yeah. So this is a big glass wall behind it. As you can tell, we are in the sunny Bahamas in maybe Florida, I don't know. <laughs> but the reality is, is uh, the girls, Mary Hannah, Sydney, and uh, Elizabeth are doing a great job getting ready for summer camp, which starts Saturday. And it's really cool because we're actually able to uh, to have kids in here that, and give them their first experience with music. But in here, what? This is my tracking studio. I which, haven't been in here. Which now the uh, camp has taken over. As you can see, they've gotten all the snacks and everything ready for camp. And the ukulele's in tomorrow. But that's my tracking session. We can actually do a 16 track simultaneous in here. So some of the videos, the early videos, if you guys saw with the Kimberly, I was tracking in here. I was showing you guys in. I've got another studio at the house now that I do all that, all that stuff now because it's just overwhelming to try to keep coming back up here every night. Tell me about it. Oh, I oh my will God. tell you about it. I will tell you. I'm not have to tell you about it. You don't have to tell me about it. I'm, I'm running back and forth from that house. I know. I know. I had to slow down. RNA music so much. It's crazy. We have a double drum lesson room in here. Uh, it's kind of cool. Like I said, we're going to open another drum room uh, because, again, with studio carpet. This is really cool. Ryan didn't know about this. I was able to educate him the ways of the drum. Uh, check these loud out. It's not that loud. So these are mesh heads. They keep it quiet. So we're right above the cash register right now. So the reality is, is I was getting tired of going. What do you need? I'm sorry, what? What was that? What do you need? So I put these mesh heads on there. Solved a lot of problems. Definitely helps. A lot of problems. You could cool. barely hear them. I was downstairs earlier buying a soda. Yep. I could like, what's that noise? Like, oh, that's the drum. Oh, it's upstairs. made. It's like, it's a rockin' day at Plaid Music. This Chris can help you. Yes, I can hear every word you say. I could hear something, <laughs> but I couldn't tell it was drums. Like, it, that's what's right. That? What's that? And like then and they'll ask sometimes, I didn't hear the drum lessons going on. And they go, oh, that's what it is up there. It's really quiet, much quieter. Because we have actually, there are four layers of sheetrock, two layers on this side, two layers on this side. And then of course we have, we're isolated by that room. Since this, the cool thing was, this was essentially built with a firewall. It's a data processing room. So it's a super quiet room with all the studio carpet. Anyway, it's like, Jesus loves me, don't know why, but that, that worked out. I did get the huh, huh. Yeah, it worked out really good. It did, that yeah. sure did. Worked out really, really good. So that's that's flat dot in the nutshell. There's my T3 out right there. You can see I've <gasps> got there for the for the shorts. Lots of YouTube has been shot yeah. on T3. Yes, it has. It has indeed. Not a bad kid. Not indeed. Alright. So that's flat dot. That's pretty much the show. It's the show. People may not know. I mean, people may know about CMG and Devil Cat. Right from your videos, they certainly do. But they don't. They may not know that you actually own a store. That's right. Like we do. That's and right. You teach lessons like, like we do. do. Like I always like to think you do what we do, but just bigger and probably longer. Just a little, I've been doing it longer too. I think you know. When you did know, you start Plaid Dot? I started Plaid Dot in '99 in my apartment. In 1999, Plaid Dot started. I had I had letterhead made up. I mean, I, I started using okay, the name Plaid yeah, Dot. That's, yeah, that's and, longer than us. We started in 09, basically. Okay, so yeah, so so you're 10 years ahead of us. That's right. And right. if you look at Evandrel, I'll show you an interesting thing. If you look at the back of my second album, we, you can kind of come in here. This is a, this room is full of junk and paint right now because the paint crew is actually, uh, they're, they're not done yet. We still have a lot of do. Uh, but if you look on the back, let's see if we can find it, of my second album, this was the very first time that a Plaid Dot logo was ever used on, printed on anything. Plaid Dot Music, and that came out in 1999. Now that's Evan, my nephew. So he worked downstairs until yesterday. He, he uh, went back to Washington. He's coming back in July to stay with us until he gets ready to go in the Navy. So he graduated college, going in as an officer. He's a brilliant guy, great kid. And uh, this was, we, we did the album Evan Drool when he was like two. So that was the first time Plaid Dot had ever been actually seen on anything. And it's, like I told Ryan earlier, my thumbprints, my Easter eggs are on, are on everything we do. I, I hide stuff all around, so it's kind of cool. Radical. Well, we are going to uh, go back to your house now. Yes. And shoot an episode of Ask RNA. Yes. And then we're going to go live. And we're going to eat some Zaxby's. What? Oh, yeah? That sounds good. I'm hungry. I am too. All right. Let's do it. So, Georgia Southern Botanical Garden. Yes. All native to this area of Georgia. It's beautiful. Love all it. the flies. All the flies, all the bugs and butterflies all and the rhubarb bugs. and the all edible. The <laughs> shard. Yes. 
the... Oh, no, they're all labeled. I'm ready. Purple cone flower. So people will get married at the front of the building and then they'll have the reception back here. Oh, of course. But wait, there's more. Of course you would. Having your guests walk through this beautiful area right here would be perfect. So mom had a retirement party here. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. It's got a full catering kitchen and all. Yeah. My parents don't need a deck swing. Uh -huh. My grandparents here. So you can come and hang out with my grandparents. How pretty. It just smells like something, something smelly. Uh -huh. What is that? It's familiar. It's probably the purple steel. Mm -hmm. Whatever yeah. that is. What are you, purple steel? So, so recording. Yes, I am. Just tree. Jacobinia? Yeah. Oh, there's bees. I was about to grab me a handful of bees. The bumbles won't won't sting. The bumbles won't sting. People are usually afraid of bumblebees, but they don't sting. This, I mean, they can. They have the possibility, That's the capability. Area. That's usually where we are. Okay. Yeah, there's an old the old schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is pretty. Some pictures here. That would have been a nice range. Yeah. yeah, your prom picture turned out great. For what it was. Great. I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves, so that's all that matters. Someone moved from offsite in order and brought it here to donate. So the kids, our students, our local kids, will come here and do uh, tours of it and mm -hmm. get knowledge of the nature and what happened in one house, one room schoolhouses. And one of our old students' moms does Goodness, that is a big, big, big tree. Cacti, it's huge. It's a big tree. And it's fruiting. Do I have hydrangeas? Yes. Okay. They grow, but we have to treat the soil and treat them a certain way in but order acid, for them. Acid, 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 acid. Is it yes. So they usually are a lot paler. What you'll notice here, so here's an oak tree. The difference between the oaks that you'll see today and the oaks you'll see tomorrow is that um, we're far enough away from the ocean that we're not, that we don't get the moss. Okay. Don't when you see the moss, do not touch the moss because red bugs live in it, and red bugs like to bore themselves in your skin, and then nice. continue to eat you. Nice. I like sugars. I do. It's exactly what it is. That's yeah. what it is. You have to put nail polish on them. Kill them. Yes. Yeah, rub yourself with sulfur. Yep. That's not fun. This is the butterfly section. Oh. So pretty. Wow. 
There's, this is the back of the house. <laughs> the okay. Side. The front of the house too. Or something. Nicholas, are you spitting on people? There's a couple of clouds, but I don't think they're, they're that capable. Maybe. Oh, well, that one maybe. <laughs> it's there you go. So that, I gave you the very rough tour of the GSU Botanical Garden. Very nice. Love it. Sit out here and find a bench and. Yep. That's why mom and dad got the swing. Mom's whole goal when she retired was going to go sit, sit, pack a lunch and sit it on that swing. It's like, mom, it's too hot here for you to be sitting on a swing. Yeah. Squirrels. This is a cut, like, let's see if this is a cool shot. Oh, There's not a lot of outside electrical, so you have to like join and join. Yeah, really that Oh, pretty. There you go. Very pretty. On the, on the smell of the magnolias, mm -hmm. that's a good. huge magnolia tree. We had a huge magnolia tree at our house. My bench is a mess. That's all right. You're busy working. Chris always starts with like, oh, I'll let the guys in the room. Makes such a mess. <laughs> well, when you're working, things happen. Yeah. It's just, I just need a square foot so that it doesn't. Uh, you just need a bigger bench. That's what that's what needs to happen. Yeah. So excited. Hope and jam on guitar here, Ryan. Let's get this, buddy. Oh, go you, ahead. So. So I'm, I'm sitting there and you know inspecting, and, and I mean I'll sit there and uh, only your job is up there doing that. So anyway, your amp works great other than those tubes. Okay. So I'm uh, doing a little swirl remover for a guy's guitar. It's the final final stage of the process. Um, it's already been buffed, well, horse wet sanded and buffed, and this guy's guitar is a local guy, Sid. I used to teach his dad guitar back in the day, and so Sid kind of wanted a custom mark, and we have delivered. This is beautiful. So uh, since I want him to see it in this shiny luster glory when he gets it here in his Georgia sunset, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and put the effort in there to make sure it's it's buffed and, and to its high sheen possible. Sheen. And it's got the Tony Iommi sort of like crosses on it. It's like a Tony Iommi tribute guitar, but it has like cross inlays, but they're all abalone, and they're like, oh, they're super. When I, I worked at Benedetto down in Savannah, and uh, they always used uh, the best abalone just because they were high end guitars. Mm -hmm. and that's just what, you know, what was the you know, the image of a, of a fine right. guitar was abalone. Yeah. You know, a high-end guitar was abalone, maybe a little mother of pearl. Mixed in. Yeah. For, a, you know, just a... I understand. It's a, it's a little gaudy for some people. They think it, like, Schechter went really over the top a few years ago with, like, all the binding was abalone, just all over these Hellraiser guitars. And I was like, that's a little... Yeah, those arch tops... Is free advertisement right there. Everything in white, brown, and black on that home. Just absolutely amazing. All right, we're coming up on our stop number eight here, once across this street, and this portion that you can see is kind of like a light yellowish, tannish building with the green. That was the original slave quarters. And 
we don't tend to keep those. For one, it's very embarrassing. For two, we don't use them at all, so. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, started off with a, a quick chat with Chris's sister, uh, Missy, who the Devil Cat guitarist amplifier Missy is named after. She just happened to be there the day that Chris and I were doing the uh, tour of Plaid.music. So I thought that was really fun. It was nice to meet her. She was very nice. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog video. It'll be at least another part three there might be a part four because of all the footage and we'll see you guys soon. And after that, we'll get caught up with all of our Saturday vlogs here at RNA Music. We, get, we got a lot of vlogs. We shoot those every weekend so you can kind of see what life is like for a small, legit small business owner um, running their own business, living the dream, I guess you could say in America, chasing the dream. Anyways, I think we're more chasing it than living it, but, <laughs> but we shoot those videos every Saturday and I have pretty much every Saturday since this trip to Georgia which was um, at the very end of May I got those in the can editing as we speak and you'll see those we'll get caught up on all the weekend vlogs for you guys and gals who missed those so thank you so much we'll see you in the next video keep the music alive the music needs you we need the music gotta keep it alive for the next generation I'm so excited <laughs>